Hi, hello, and salutations, guys. This is Naisha, you know, just an average girl. In today's video, I'm going to be printing Zoro from One Piece and attempt to channel what I've learned so far about painting figures. Last year, I printed a Christmas stitch, which was fun, but I mostly just painted it and used a marker airbrush to paint the base. That was alright, but I couldn't control it. So I ended up getting an actual airbrush kit and did some test models. Let's see if I got the hang of it. You can find this awesome Zoro print on Colts3D.com under the amazing modeler My Animate. You can check out their page in the description below. When I printed, I scaled it to about 110% which I find to be a pretty good size. I printed the base using the marble texture filament and everything else I used a gray matte filament. I learned that when it comes to priming, I'm gonna start using the black matte instead of the gray because when it comes to shading dark tones, instead of using an airbrush, it saves so much time. My airbrush paint of choice is from Homey Artie that I purchased through Amazon. I went with the 30 bottle choice, which comes with three bottles of thinner. For Zoro's kimono, I used an olive green as the base and then slightly touched it up with some lighter greens. After it dried, I taped it as I began the skin tone. Now, learning from other YouTubers like the Creative Collector and it's Midame, I hope I got that right, forgive me, a rose pink or orange depending on the skin tone is a great start to get a flesh-like pigment. Now, for Zoro's hair, I once again used the olive green as a base, I slightly touched it up with a blue green, and then gently topped it off with the yellow green.
For details on his face, I started off with a pencil so that way I knew where to paint, but when I realized I didn't have a small enough brush, I used a pen instead. Sorry. As for the stick in his mouth, it broke during the print, but I ended up using print scraps and made a new one. Now, forgive me, I did have footage where I was painting the sword in sake, uh, but unfortunately it got corrupted. But so you know, I used the gold paint for the words on the base, the bounty marker, and the swords, as well as completing the rest of it. All that was left was gluing the hero and the bust together as well as the many objects that go on the base. And there you have it. Overall, I was so excited at the outcome especially the way that the skin tone and hair came out. And I look forward to doing more. I hope this video was helpful for anyone wanting to try to paint 3D prints. Again, I'm not a professional. There are so many YouTubers out there that do a lot better job than I do. I'm just still practicing and hopefully building up my skills. If you enjoyed this video, Please click on the like button so others can see it. And if you haven't yet, I appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel. And click on that bell for notifications. If you want to check out my Team 7 set or Santa Stitch, you can check out the videos right here.